Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. Uh, just here to give a quick VCLT thanks to a couple awesome guys that hooked me up with some VCLT recently. Uh, the one and only Jeff Witcher and uh, Aaron Mutha Alamere. And I'm sure you guys know both of them here in the VC, I'm sure. Um, as I kind of mentioned in my last video, I was out of town for like a week or so. I was kind of out in the Wyoming area. And I just happened to be about two and a half hours from where Aaron lives. So I was like, oh, that close. I'm definitely going to see if I can, you know, hook up with him and have a chance to kind of hang out. And I rented a car, drove down, got to hang out with him from the afternoon. And it was just absolutely freaking awesome. Uh, so cool getting a chance to meet him. Uh, just one of the, and I know we always say this about people. Just, it's like almost like a general thing you say, like saying hello to someone. Like, you know, nice guy and that type of thing. But truly, truly, truly just such a, uh, just a nice down to earth, um, just real, real guy. Um, you know, just so accommodating, so nice. Just, you know, it, it was, I just had an awesome time. And just Aaron, appreciate you so much hosting me. Uh, getting a chance to hit a couple of record stores. We had lunch together. But even more importantly, just having a chance to kind of hang out in the, the Tipsy Tuesday music room and just, you know, hearing him spin stuff, introducing me to so many new bands. It's made my want list like this long now and just all, all kinds of great stuff. So, Aaron, man, you're absolutely awesome. And I cannot thank you enough uh, just for being being as, as, as cool as you were uh, really and truly. And actually, just maybe I kind of like I want to take a moment to say that uh, even on kind of a, a deeper level is because you guys know Aaron here in the VC and like I just mentioned Jeff Witcher, but then, you know, JC, uh, Chris Profe, uh, Gary over at Physical Format Rock and Roll, um, like those five guys have a, a very, very special, close and tight friendship that goes far beyond just showing records in, in, in the VC. And over the past month or two, I've, I've had the absolute total honor and pleasure of being able to interact with them a little bit beyond just, you know, showing videos and stuff here in the VC. And uh, and yeah, I, I just really want to say to all, all five of you, it's been absolutely amazing just getting a chance to to know you and quite frankly, just to know you better, I should say, a little better and, and just even just having the opportunity to kind of dip my toe into that amazing friendship that you guys have. It's just something that's, that's absolutely special. It's something that I, I respect the hell out of every single one of you for. And, um, and it's just been fantastic. I mean, I love you guys to death and I just cannot thank you enough for just you know, having your arms as open as, as you have, um, with, with, with everything. It's, it's, it's been, it's been an absolute and total and complete pleasure. So uh, just wanted to say that to you guys. Love you to death and, and really, really appreciate it. So uh, let me dive into the awesome stuff that they sent over. And I'll start with Jeff since the one he sent right here on top. And it was this one here, which is a uh, 07 when it falls. Um, really odd about this one because I heard this album in a store about six, seven years ago, maybe longer than that, I think. Uh, CD was playing. I went over and checked it out. I'm like, sounds cool. Artwork is awesome. CD was a little more than I wanted to pay for it. So I kind of passed on it and had seen the vinyl here and there. But again, it's just like, ah, maybe I'll find it a better price. And, and it just kind of been one of the deep cuts on my want list. And without me ever talking about it or ever saying anything about it or Jeff ever asking me about it or anything, like this is what the universe connected us to make him think like this is a piece of VCLT Brandon might like and it's like not only what I, what I might like it is just one of those again that one of the deep cuts on my want list uh, so zero seven when it falls very very cool I literally laughed out loud when I opened the boxes I was like there is no way of all the albums that this is what he would have ended up picking to send over so I've uh, wanted that for so long so Jeff thank you so so much man um, you know, for those maybe that don't know them, kind of a kind of a jazzy, poppy kind of thing. Uh, to me, it has some R&B flavor here and there, kind of sprinkled in. Uh, but yeah, just a really creative album. Awesome, awesome stuff. So yeah, Jeff, we, we were definitely here on that. So I really, really appreciate that, man. 
Uh, and then a couple of things that Aaron hooked me up with. Uh, number one was this here, which is Or Orange Goblin, uh, The Wolf Bites Back. Uh, not an album that I was familiar with at all, and say Aaron hooked me up with this. It was kind of funny because we were in this store, and I know Aaron's kind of just starting to get into jazz. So I saw a Cannonball Adderley album, which is one of the ones that I say is a, one of the top 10 intro to jazz albums. So I picked it up, and then as soon as I paid for it, I was like, hey man, this is for you. Great album you should have, getting into jazz. And he's like, oh, thanks, man, I appreciate it. Um, this is for you. And, and he had actually done the exact same thing with this Orange Goblin. I was like, oh, I didn't know you were grabbing that for me. Um, so we kind of had like a, a little VCLT swap right there in the store that neither one of us was expecting. Uh, this is the, the Wolf Bites Back. A really cool, just kind of heavy, bluesy, um, yeah, that's kind of the best way to describe it. It's like a really, really heavy blues, not quite getting fuzzy, but definitely like really thick, uh, graveyard kind of kind of heaviness. Um, if you, for those of you that know the band Graveyard. Um, but yeah, it was really, really awesome. I, I spun the whole thing yesterday and really enjoyed it, especially the one song, uh, Burn the Ships. Like there was a couple of breakdowns in that song that were just really like, you know, just freaking awesome. So Aaron, thank you very, very much for that one. Um, the next one here, a really cool compilation that he gave me, which was a Welcome to the Metal Zone. Fantastic 2LP set um, and a true metal compilation. Because one thing I don't like is when you have a you know an album that said Metal Power and then like one of the songs would be like Don't Stop Believing by Journey or something like that, you know, which is an awesome song. I mean, I love Journey, just don't put it on my metal compilations. Put it on, you know, I don't know, Power Rock or whatever. Uh, but this one right here, and again, maybe with the exception of one song, like Run With The Pack by Alaska or something like that, like all four sides is just like freaking metal zone. Um, so stuff like, you know, Exciter, I, I Am The Beast, Merciful Fate, Nightmare, Wendy O. Williams, I Love Sex, um, Megadeth, The Skull Beneath The Skin, uh, Sabotage, Dungeons Are Calling, Loudness, Crazy Nights, and on and on. Like a rock and rock and 2OP metal compilation. So Aaron, really, really appreciate that. that, that was, that's a fantastic listen right there. And last but not least, this awesome piece right here, which is the Ramon Subterranean Jungle. A very nice OG pressing of that. Which again, is just really, really cool because the the two sire year albums that i still needed from my ramones collection that i wanted og pressings of was subterranean and uh, pleasant dreams uh you know animal boy and all those uh brain drain and all that i have all of those but these were the two that i was still kind of uh, waiting for and i even bought the ramones box set for the record store day actually yeah it's right there um but i didn't open it because i'm like well i have the og pressings and eventually i'll get the other two that i wanted and so <clears throat> Excuse me. Aaron totally hooked me up with one of the two that was remaining on my list. So, uh, again, just an awesome, awesome piece, Aaron, that I cannot thank you enough for that, man. That's just freaking fantastic. And last but not least, those that really know Aaron, you know that Clutch is his favorite band, uh, which is saying a lot from someone who knows as much and loves as much hard rock and metal as he does. For him to narrow down to having a favorite band, I think is pretty darn powerful. And uh, I can't remember if he said this was the first album he heard by them or if, if this was his favorite album. But it was one of those two. So when he saw this CD, he was like, you have to have this. So uh, again, another awesome hookup there. But uh, yeah, again, guys, thank you so, so much for that. Just absolutely amazing and awesome. Uh, VC, let me know what you think. And as always, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, guys.